The PPSH returns in Call of Duty World War II with moderate damage and range along with high magazine size. It will take 4 shots to get close range, 5 at medium and then drops off to 6 shots. Range is moderate for this weapon. The fire rate is good at 720 rounds per minute, the same with the MP40 since the post patch. This average fire rate however does not help taming the recoil of the PPSH, but surprisingly controllable out to medium range in some cases. While this means that you can certainly take out anyone at longer distance, the requirement of 6 shots to kill and the high idle swear will discourage you from attempting to do so. The PPSH's advantage over other SMGs is the high magazine size, with 35 rounds, and the extended max will take this to 52 rounds instead. The PPSH is an average good all-round submachine gun, making it easy to use in most situations at close range and suits nearly all the divisions. But the airborne division will benefit the PPSH more than others, with a detachable suppressor and faster movement speed enhancements. The class loadout is a pure run and gun style. For the attachments, the extended magazine will give you a whopping 52 rounds, allowing you to continuously slay multiple enemies within a single magazine. This will result in a less downtime if you can reload when necessary and not after every kill. And will also give you an extra ammunition supply when respawn. The second attachment is steady aim, giving you a tighter hip spread for a better hit probability when firing from the hip. For the secondary, any pistol will do as a backup when your PPSH isn't ready or out of commission with zero bullets left. For the equipment, choose the British Stun Grenade to disorient the enemies. Toss one against a group of enemies in a room to gain an unfair advantage. Or use it against a single opponent when you are at a disadvantage. For the basic training, choose Energetic to decrease the sprint in and out time giving you a faster reactivity when you caught the enemy at close range by surprise, allowing you to fire the weapon faster. The energetic will also neglect a fall damage should you need to make an escape from a tall building or structure. The PPSH is relatively easy to use at close range, and the high magazine size of the extended max will greatly prolong your fun. The average fire rate means that it is more beneficial to aim if the target is further away than attempting to fire from the hip. But the tighter hip spread of the steady aim will make it easier to land more shots if you find the enemy within the same room as you. The suppressor is okay to use exclusively, though if you are tackling head on, it is best to detach it to preserve its normal range. So the suppressor is best used when you find yourself alone or within the enemy's territory we are flanking. The basic training energetic might save you with a faster reactivity from sprinting, though it is ideal to walk when you are about to enter your opposition's domain to be prepared. Overall, the PPSH is no doubt the most popular submachine gun in World War II, simply because it has a good all-round characteristics that makes it easy to use in many situations. Because of this, however, the PPSH does not have any special attributes that stands out against other SMGs as it doesn't have the fastest fire rate, nor it is the most accurate. This means that you may be outgunned by a faster firing SMG, like the M1928 or the WAF-28. The MP40 possesses the same fire rate as the PPSH, but can kill within 3 shots at a very close range, but less accurate at medium distance. At longer range, the Type 100 and the Sten can comfortably stay on target under a sustained fire, whereas the PPSH may struggle due to its recoil. Still, these specialized SMGs also have severe downsides, but the PPSH has a good balance of everything of all the SMG characteristics, so you don't need to worry so much when using it and makes the PPSH simple and easy to use. In short, the PPSH is a jack of all traits, but masters of none. And that's all for the PPSH Weapon Guide Express. For the next video is the M1 Grand. This is Asian with Jeep. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.